What is content locking? In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know to get a basic understanding of what content locking is and how it can help you and your business or your website. So let's dive right in. This first example is actually more of like a landing page, but this could also still be considered a style of content locking, right? So content locking is where you take a piece of content that your visitor will want and you put it behind some type of qualifier, right? Now, um, you know, ordinarily products are put behind a paywall, right? You have to pay to get access to something that could technically be kind of a content lock. Um, in this example though, and this is the more common thing that we're talking about when we're talking about content locking, is you are put behind a, a, a form that you need to fill out, right? So right here, if you click that green button, it just takes you down to a uh, form to fill out. Now this is more of a lead generation form where it asks for a lot of detail, right? But this is, all, this is one landing page that we have here. So we've got this form here that you can fill out and then you would be uh, either emailed or um, taken to the PDF report, the State of Proposals 2020 is what Proposify has locked up. Okay, so let's move on to the next example and it's, a, it's basically um, the same example but uh, this is a more true content lock in terms of what we are talking about, right? So this is a company called Proof, and they have a conversion secrets case study, right? So uh, it's a 19 page PDF, three funnel conversion hacks. They have like all the, the features of this document that you'll get. And when you click this download now button, you get a light box pop up. And this is um, a lot less intrusive, right? You're gonna probably get more people willing to fill this out than the previous example. In this one, you just fill out your name, your email address, click send it now. Based on the, the wording here, send it now, I assume that they email you the PDF. Now, there are some pros and cons to um, taking the person to a page to download the document versus emailing it to them, right? Now, um, the advantage to emailing it to the person is that they have to give you valid contact information in order to access the information that they want, right? If you just take the people to the PDF or to a page where they can download it, then people can put in fake information and still get access to the, the PDF that you're offering. So that is one consideration. Now when we talk about content locking, I'm most often referring to what is inline content locking, okay? And let me give you an example from inline content locking. Now, um, before we get to that, a lot of people feel like content locking is kind of like, I don't know, uh, shoddy or it feels um, not above board, right? But it is a very common technique to getting content or getting contact information um, from visitors, right? You're giving content for free. And the reason that I like inline content locking versus that very heavy handed, you get nothing unless you give me information, is that you get to give value to your visitors before um, they decide, okay, I'm going to opt in, right? So let's move on to inline content locking. Here's an example from the Wall Street Journal they pretty much lock every single one of their articles and they give you they this is not as generous as i usually am right this is a this is a more heavy-handed example of inline content locking they only give you a paragraph of the news story and then in order to um, access the rest of it you have to log in presumably with a paid account they probably have free trials or something like that but this is kind of like a hybrid between like a paywall and um, a traditional or what I would consider a traditional content lock, right? So when you've got um, a content lock, when I talk about inline content locking, I'm usually meaning you pay with like a social media share or you're paying with your, better yet, paying with your email address, right? You're giving contact information. In this case, Wall Street Journal, being that they're in the business of news, they lock their stuff behind a paywall. Moving on here is, this is a pure example of what I'm talking about as far as inline content locking. So this is from the Optin Monster blog. And right here, you have all this free content. There's free content here, and then there's a scroll window. You see this long scroll bar here. There's a, a, a bunch of content on this page completely for free. But right here, they have exclusive download our content upgrade checklist for a step-by-step -step guide on how to boost your conversion with content upgrades. If you click that link, it opens up a light box where it asks for the name and the email address, right? So this little box right here is exactly what I'm talking about in this video when I talk about inline content lockers. Um, another example we have here is uh, this one is blocking. Uh, so you've got blurred text here. 
so we've got this blurred text this is giving you you can kind of you can see that there's content behind it but you can't actually like really read it right and this gives you the form right away right so in line in inside of your content this opt-in form would be there you put in your name you put in your email address you click unlock this article for free and then the text of the article would appear right there on the page so this is a bit more straightforward than this one right this one people think oh I'm gonna click that link and get immediate access to the PDF instead it opens up the light box so it's a little bit tricky it depends on what your audience likes so how can you start with content locking right this is something that you decide you wanted to do now content locking is very very effective right but it's not necessarily easy to do right how do you create these little opt-in forms well there are two tools that I use right so if you are on WordPress, right, you have a WordPress website, WordPress blog, whatever, um, I use uh, Thrive Leads, and I've got an affiliate link below in this video. Uh, so in the video description or right below this video, you'll see a link for Thrive Leads. This is the best WordPress plugin for creating um, the, the content lock opt-ins, all right? I've used a bunch of them. I've even used plugins that were designed specifically for content locking. Thrive Leads does a ton more than just content locking. It creates the pop-ups, the welcome mats, it's you know got everything. Um, but it does the best job that I've found for content locking. So if you are on WordPress, you wanna give Thrive Leads a look also. Um, in addition to just buying Thrive Leads by itself, I think they've got like a membership for, uh, I wanna say it's like $19, $20 a month, where you actually get at full access to all of their plugins, um, their page builder, and all of their WordPress themes. So everything kind of works together. So it's something to definitely consider if you are on the in the WordPress ecosystem. If you are outside of WordPress, now you can also use this next one for WordPress if you want to, but it's a bit more cumbersome than Thrive Leads. But if you are outside of WordPress, then the best option is Optin Monster. This would work for pretty much any builder out there, right? Drupal, Joomla, Blogger, WordPress, um, plain HTML pages. If you can put code into a page, like a JavaScript snippet that they provide to you, then you can use Optin Monster. Um, very great tool. You build everything inside of their, you know, web interface. You know, you can you can make all of your different opt-ins in there, and they give you you can do split testing. You can also do split testing with Thrive Leads as well. But um, you can do split testing, um, so you can see which opt-ins work best, which headlines work best, what colors work best, and so forth. Um, you can create all types of pop-ups, slide-ins, welcome mats, exit intents. There's just tons of options. Anyways, those are the two options that I suggest. Both of my affiliate links are below this video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.